in this uh, video i am going to explain uh, solving of a thick core cylinder problem related to the steam heating process okay this is the problem we are going to discuss a compound tube of um, a tube is made by shrinking uh, one tube of 100 mm internal diameter and a 25 mm wall thickness onto another tube of 100 mm internal diameter and 25 mm wall thickness the sinkage allowance based on the radius is equal to 0.01 mm if both tubes of uh, steel of uh, elastic modulus of uh, 208 giga newton per square meter calculate the radial pressure set up at the junction owing to sinkage before going to solve this uh, problem let me explain the theory behind this uh, problem the sink fitting in a thick core cylinder is a process to strengthen in the cylinder bore when cylinder subject to a internal pressure when a cylinder subject to a pressure this uh, wall is subject to two different stresses so one is the tangential stress this uh, tangential stress also called hoop stress or circumferential stress and the radial stress then when the cylinder subject to internal pressure only situation the tangential stress sigma t and the sigma r is negative sigma r is negative sigma r is negative then sigma t component is maximized at the inner surface here this is how the stress uh, sigma t is varying sigma t that is you can see there is maximized at the inner surface when the scene is subject to intermission only situation then the radial stress is negative radial stress is negative like this so the inner surface when consider the inner surface sigma t is uh, maximized the this value always uh, greater than the sigma r so that uh, sigma t is the critical stress sigma t is the critical stress sigma t is the principal stress developed at the inner surface if anyhow the sigma t can minimize this cylinder can take higher pressure shrink fitting is a method to reduce the tangential stress so then the shrink fitted cylinders can take higher pressure than single cylinders then uh, in shrink fitting a uh, two cylinders are assembled by using the difference of thermal expansion produced by heating or cooling them to different temperatures for example let's take these two cylinders let's take this outer cylinder the outer cylinder inner radius let's do it as r then this is the inner cylinder the inner cylinder outer radius is slightly greater than this r r plus delta this a difference is called a shrink fit tolerance shrink fit tolerance shrink fit tolerance so when assembling these two cylinders the one method is this one is heated heated until this uh, diameter expand to uh, expand to match this diameter or greater than this diameter or this one is cool until its uh, diameter shrink less than this diameter so then these two cylinders can assemble so when it comes to room temperature these two cylinders form rigid bond in between them at the mating surface the very high pressure develop so this pressure is called interface pressure e then this interface pressure produce negative stress on the inner surface of the inner cylinder and this is how after steam fitting this is how the stress distribution here you can see this stress is a negative negative mean the compressive stress develop at the inner surface so then when increasing the pressure when loading the this steam fitted uh, compound cylinders the tangential stress increases from the negative value negative value so the steam fitted uh, cylinders can take higher pressure than a uh, single cylinders that is how uh, cylinder bore strengthening in a steam fitting process okay let's move to the Uh, problem this problem okay uh, first of all let me draw the uh, diagram first let's take uh, this is the outer cylinder then uh, this is the inner cylinder diameters are given let me mark the radius 
radial values here this one is equal to 50 this one is equal to 50 this uh, thickness is equal to 25 that means uh, this uh, value is equal to 75 this value is equal to 25 so that means a is equal to uh, 25 millimeters the b is equal 50 millimeters the c is equal 75 millimeters to find the interface pressure we can use this equation when the sim fit tolerance is given in the situation we can use this equation to find the uh, interface pressure develop interface pressure at this uh, interface okay let me substitute the values in this equation p interface pressure is equal elastic modulus is given 208 into 10 to the power of uh, 9 then the delta 0 0.01 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 3 divided by b 50 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 3 then uh, b square 50 into square minus a square 25 into square c square 75 square minus b square 50 into square divided by so i am using the millimeters here here also millimeters here also millimeters so the, the cancel out the prefix uh, cancel out so b square uh, b 50 into square here c square 75 into square minus a square 25 into square then by uh, simplifying this equation we are able to calculate the developed interface pressure so i have calculated value the p is equal to you can use your calculators to find this uh, value so 9.75 megapascal in stream fitting the interface at this interface pressure develop interface pressure is called 9.75 uh, megapascal so if you take the inner cylinder that is setting like uh, in this way like a cylinder subject to a external pressure only situation if you take the outer cylinder that is acting inward like a sinus subject to a internal pressure only situation like that this pressure produce a negative stress on this uh, negative tangential stress at the inner surface that is how uh, cylinder bow strengthening in a shrimp fitting uh, process okay this is how we are solving the this kind of uh, problem okay thank you see you next time